This is Daddy from Busy Daddy Cooks. When I mention Vietnamese food, what comes to mind? Probably pho and spring rolls. But many would say they prefer its tastier and less well-known cousin, bún chả. I ate my way to Hanoi, Vietnam and tried three of the highly rated bún chả outlets. Two were listed in the Michelin Guide, by the way. All of them were great. But each has its own variation in terms of depth of flavour, the smokiness of the barbecue pork, and the balance of sweetness and savouriness. My favourite is Punjata, whose restaurant is listed in the Michelin Guide. I'll let her, the owner of Punjata, tell us how we should eat Puncha. My name is Ha and I'm the owner of Bunchata restaurant. Garlic and chili over there and yep. some pepper as well. Mm -hmm. You can add them into the sweet and sour sauce here to make it more tasty. Okay. And then you mix noodle and herb inside. So today I'm going to show you how to eat buncha like local people. Uh, so this is the sweet and sour sauce from fish sauce and sugar. The fish sauce is really coming through. It's really sour and sweet. It has that kick which the other side did not have. So what I love about this is the barbecue charred meat, the smoky flavour, and you can see the char bits in the broth itself. Look at that. Wow. There's also carrots and I believe these are papaya, young papaya. Um, to make it more tasty, I recommend you adding some uh, garlic and chili mm -hmm. and uh, black pepper into the bowl sauce in here. Let's add some more garlic to kick it up another level. Sauce and a little bit more sour. We have the pickled garlic. Oh, yeah, this is a lot better. It's at a different level. Uh, we have three different kinds of herbs in here. Mm -hmm. uh, besides lettuce, we also have uh, shisho, which is popular in Japanese cuisine, and some uh, spearmint and rice field herb. So those are very important uh, in the, to, to make the dish taste better as well because this is a sweet and sour and with the meat taste, it needs some like something fresh to balance the flavor mm -hmm. and those herbs are perfect for that. Keep it going. We will add the lettuce. According to Han, you will add the lettuce, the herbs. Okay. And then you add the noodle and herb little by little into the sauce. Mix the mix it up and enjoy them all together. I thought that, that when the Vietnamese eat this, they put everything in the bowl all together. Exactly, like but but you have to put it like uh, uh, little by little, not the whole thing, you know, not because nothing. yeah, because the noodle too long on the soup, it make it make the the noodle become soggy and the texture is not good anymore so it just yeah. basically like dip and eat dip and eat little by little on the time okay. yes the bone itself but only a little at a time okay 
let's try to get a mouthful of everything all at once. Lettuce, herbs, pork belly, and the pork patty. Oh boy, this is too big. Okay, let's do it this way. This by far the best I've tasted. What I like about Puncha is that you can customize it according to your preference of the type and level of acidity. The freshness you can bring to your bowl from your own combination of herbs and vegetables. And the type and level of heat. If ever you are in Hanoi, check out Bujata. The address is in the description below. Shitty car, but we hit the road. Doesn't matter where we go and destination or no. I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Chill. If you've been to the Thailand train tracks, this is about the same experience. Except that this feels a bit more commercialized. If you have made it this far, Thank you, and thank you for your support, and I'll see you in my next video. Cause when I want it, then I want it, yeah.